Stigma is the biggest thing that veterans have to get over. Um, we're such an e, you know, being in the military and being in certain certain jobs that you do is very much an A type personality. It's an always go get. It's a suck it up, drive on. You'll be fine. Um, but twenty three veterans committing suicide a day. Things aren't fine, and and that therein lies the problem is not reaching out, not not asking for help, um, or feeling ashamed. You know why can't I, why can't I just handle this? You know I I went to war. Why can't I just do this? And I think our our generation is becoming more and more receptive to seeking help than the older generations because it was a societal context. It was you know you came back from war, you went to work. That was you know what you did. But with our war, it's easy because we're such a media based generation that I can come home. And literally sit there and look on my computer, and watch battles that I was in that I video recorded. So now I'm just living it over and over and over and over. Or look at the pictures that I brought, because you know, and I know soldiers that brought down, brought home hard drives full of dead bodies, blasts, you know, everything that they've gone through. And so you just sit there and you just continually stew in it, and that's all you do. And, I, and I, I've had a few veterans who, that's what they've done, and they ended up killing themselves. Um, so this, this year we've lost, I lost another soldier probably about two months ago, one of my medics who hung himself in his garage. And then before that, there was, there, there was, there was even more before that. So that's, that, that's where it hits me hard. That's where it hits me home is because I know what, my guys went through, I know what my soldiers went through, and for them to come home and just feel that there's nothing for them, um, it's hard, it's hard. And reintegration is hard. I mean, I'll tell you firsthand, it's, it's, it's hard, because I, I have my own struggles.